Hi guys, I'm Megan Graham, and in this video, I am going to tell you the 10 dog accessories that you need before you bring home your Yorkshire Terrier. The first accessory that you need, it's not a tangible accessory, but the thing that I recommend to all dog owners, especially Yorkshire Terrier owners, is that you get pet insurance. Number two, you need to have either some kind of a crate or a pen so that you can actually contain your Yorkie puppy and keep it safe. I had the Iris play pen and I also had the puppy apartment and they were both amazing. Having a great shampoo and conditioner is going to make such a big difference for your Yorkie. I use a brand called Espana Silk. I did a lot of research and I've tried so many different kinds of shampoo and conditioner and this has actually been the best that I've found. It does not use any artificial fragrance. It's really gentle, but it also untangles my Yorkie's coats, which makes it so much easier because I do spend about a half an hour per day brushing my free Yorkies. Number four is that you are going to want to have a great harness to keep your Yorkies safe. Actually, as I hold up this harness, they're thinking, are we going outside? This is so exciting. Um, this is a well-worn and well-loved harness. It is by Buddy Belt, which is my absolute favorite and I actually add little crystals onto it for a little bit of pizzazz, but it's going to keep your dog protected and it's not going to put pressure on their trachea, which is really important because a lot of Yorkies have tracheal problems. So I love Buddy Belt's harnesses. This next item is something that I did not realize that I needed for the first several years that I had a Yorkshire Terrier. I used to drive around and I would have a Yorkshire Terrier in my lap until a friend of mine told me a story about a close friend of hers that was driving with her cat in the car and had a very small fender bender where the airbag actually deployed. Unfortunately, the airbag was able to kill her cat. So very, very sad story. And I only tell you this to illustrate why you very much need to have your dog inside something safe. So I did a lot of research and I got this. It is called a sleepy pod and it actually opens up on the top. You can put your dog right into it. It's got super, super soft, velvety feeling, plushy lining, and you can even take the top off if you're traveling, and you can use the bottom as a pet bed. This is the only, the only, because I researched so many different things, this is the only ultra safe pod that I could find for riding in a car. I saw a lot of little harnesses and little elevated dog beds, but what you need to understand is that you need something that's going to contain your dog if there's an accident. I highly recommend getting a pet carrier. If you get a pet carrier and you start getting your dogs used to it early, they are going to love riding in their carrier. So as I speak, I actually have my pet carrier in my lap and all of my dogs are looking at me and they all want to get inside of it. So the brand that I often carry is called Quiggy Bow. Um, it's really nice it's got a removable bottom so if your dog gets car sick or something like that if you had to use it in the car to pinch you can actually remove it and clean it it's got a really handy little strap so you can actually attach your dog to it because you really have to be careful no matter what to always keep your dog contained and then it's got little pockets on either side so you can put things in if you want to put your wallet in or your keys or something like that it's super super handy i do use these dog carriers very frequently. It makes it easy for me to transport my dogs and to keep them safe even if I'm on my way to the car or something like that. They're great for winter time when it's really cold and they are a nice item to have. Having some simple grooming tools will be really important for your Yorkie and again you are going to want to get your Yorkie being used to being groomed daily as soon as possible because if you decide to start when your Yorkshire Terrier is a little bit older it's going to be so much harder. So I use a few different things. I have one comb that is larger on one side than the other so I can work out some knots with the larger side and then get in for detail work with the smaller side. This ultra fine comb is great for cleaning out their eye area. It's really important to keep Yorkshire Terrier's eyes free of goo and since they don't have opposable thumbs, you are going to need to help them out with it. My Yorkshire Terriers wear their hair in a little top knot and I find that the easiest way to have them wear a top knot is to put a teeny tiny elastic into their hair. These are great. They're about the size that you would get from an orthodontist and they're easy to put in and they don't pull their hair. 
When I'm taking the elastics out, I use these little special scissors. They are called band scissors, and you can actually just reach in with the curved scissors, cut the elastic out of their hair, and you avoid actually cutting their hair and creating little short, broken pieces. When you have a Yorkshire Terrier, you are going to find that they are super athletic and they are going to want to hop up onto your bed, maybe even onto your furniture. If you do allow your dog on your bed or on your furniture, having something like these dog stairs is actually really important because you need to help to protect their hips. Even though they are actually able to jump up and down, it's better for them not to do that and for them to have something that they can actually just walk down easily. If you are anything like me, you're going to want to get a special bed for your Yorkies. I have some adorable little beds that are shaped like bassinets and they are washable, they're super, super comfortable and my dogs absolutely love them. So obviously you can have fun with your choice of Yorkie dog beds, but that is a really fun option. Some people would argue that this last accessory is not necessary and I would completely agree, but if you plan on getting any kind of clothing for your Yorkshire Terrier and you want to keep it organized, these are absolutely great. So I have little tiny hangers, but they actually fit inside my closet and I'm able to hang my Yorkshire Terrier clothing on these hangers. It's a nice way to keep organized because you do find when you have a Yorkie that you need a few things to keep your dog warm and dry and things like that and they keep you super organized. I hope that you found this video helpful. Having a Yorkshire Terrier is one of the most rewarding things that you can possibly do. If you found some value from this video, please hit the thumbs up and if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I have more videos coming. Please comment below if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching. This video was so much fun to make.